center of light, breaking apart the dreams of the night. Into waking she comes with the dreams on her heels. There's no time for reflection. The turning of wheels within wheels. Life propels her and somehow conceals. And no one knows how she feels. Gently she smiles as she pins up her hair. Life's never easy. Life's never fair. Though her smile hints at sadness, it echoes with fun. Says she'll stay on the path that she feels is the one that will weave its way into the dreams she has spun. Find her a place in the sun. Voices of children, a splinter of light, breaking apart the dreams of the night. Into waking, she comes with the dreams on her heels. There's no time for reflection. The turning of wheels within wheels, life propels her, and somehow. Seals, and no one knows how she feels. Gently she smiles as she pins up her hair. Life's never easy. Life's never fair. Though her smile hints at sadness, it echoes with fun. Says she'll stay on the path. That she feels is the one that will weave its way into the dreams she has spun, and find her a place in the sun. Good evening, and welcome to Jazz Vespers. We are coming to you from St. Peter's Church, and Ike and Melissa are joining us from Ike's studio. As you gather with us this night in your home, we invite you to set a place before you to mark this time. During Lent, we celebrate a liturgy of prayer around the cross, and so we invite you to set a cross before you. Perhaps you might Shape one as we have from items in your home, perhaps from fabric, materials from outside, anything you have at hand. Later in the liturgy, we'll invite you to join us in placing candles at the cross as signs of our prayers. Throughout the season of Lent, 
we gather for prayer around the cross, the heart of God, a liturgy of reflection, illumination, and renewal. We live in a time when community has never been more important. And so our emphasis this night is on turning our hearts from an inward focus on ourselves to an outward focus on another. God gives us one another to pray for one another, to support one another, to turn in love even toward our enemies so as to experience healing within the human family. This time together tonight in prayer and song is a contemplative arc that includes prayers and readings leading to an invitation to center your heart on the cross. We're glad you are here with us. I invite you to pray with me now. The peace of Christ be with you all. Let us pray. Blessed are you, O God, holy and immortal, for you remember how we are made, as frail as dust, as fleeting as breath. By your tender compassion, your word became flesh and dwelt among us, that the world might know your love. Be present with us now. Turn our hearts in trust toward you and in love toward one another, for you are gracious and merciful slow to anger and rich in love, through Jesus Christ, now and forever. Amen. Ike and Melissa are having connection difficulties. So I invite you to sing with me now, here first, and then sing after me. Give us, O Lord, a new heart, a new heart. Give us, O Lord, a new heart, a new Give us, O Lord, a new heart, a new heart. One more time. Give us, 
O Lord, a new heart, a new heart. Five hundred years before Christ, Ezekiel spoke to the people of Israel about God's promises. Hear this reading from Ezekiel. I will sprinkle clean water upon you, says our God, and you shall be clean from all your uncleanness, and from all your idols I will cleanse you. A new heart I will give you, and a new spirit I will put within you. And I will remove from your body the heart of stone, and give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you. Give us, O Lord, a new heart, a new heart. Sing with me. Give us, O Lord, a new heart, a new heart. Give us, O Lord, a new heart, a new heart. Give us, O Lord, a new heart, a new heart. A reading from C.S. Lewis. To love at all is to be vulnerable. Love anything and your heart will certainly be wrung and possibly broken. If you want to make sure of keeping it intact, you must give your heart to no one, not even an animal. Wrap it carefully round with hobbies and little luxuries, avoid all entanglements, lock it up safe in the casket of your selfishness, but in that casket, safe, dark, motionless, airless, it will change. It will not be broken. It will become unbreakable impenetrable, irredeemable. Give us, O Lord, a new heart, new heart. Give us, O Lord, a new heart, new heart. A reading from Psalm 51. Create in me a clean clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and sustain me with your bountiful spirit.
Danos, oh Señor, un nuevo corazón. 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 Let us pray. God of mercy, you know us better than we know ourselves, and still you love us. Wash us from all our sin and remove from us suspicion and division. Create in us generous hearts and strengthen us in compassion and fervent love by your Holy Spirit, through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. A new heart, a new heart. Danos, oh Señor, un nuevo corazón. Diva It may be that we are unable to connect back to Misty and Ike. I invite you now instead to join us in prayer. We know that many among us long for hearts to be opened and renewed. Individuals, families, communities, churches, nations. We name now friends and strangers, situations and places in our world in need of God's abundant love. After each name, we say, you are in our hearts. And then I invite us to respond at home and in the heart of God. 
We're aware that so many people are praying from home this night. And if you're watching us on social media, share your prayers in the comments or chat following the same form. For example, people seeking asylum, you are in our hearts, to which we can all reply, and in the heart of God. This night, we're particularly mindful of those communities without power. You are in our hearts and in the heart of God. Those who are ill, you are in our hearts and in the heart of God. Families grieving loved ones, you are in our hearts and in the heart of God. Hold near to your heart, O God, all for whom we pray, and lead us into your peace. Amen.
Jesus in his suffering and death reveals the very heart of God, a heart of pure, unspeakable love, a heart that risks everything for the sake of love, a heart open to the suffering of others and broken by the cruelty of others, a heart alive with love for others, love that death could not hold. In a moment, when the music begins, I invite you to turn to the cross, to the heart of God. Bring your own heart as it is, hardened or cold, broken or empty, fearful or unfaithful, for God welcomes it and breathes into it the spirit of Christ's love. Light a candle as a fragile sign of hope dancing in darkness. Together, we join our prayers in silence and in song. Gathering our many prayers into one, let us pray. 
Compassionate God, in Christ's gentle and suffering love, you have shown us the way of abundant life in community with one another. Keep us joined to Christ's life-giving passion, that our hearts may know the joy and freedom for which you have created us, now and forever. Amen. As tender as a parent to a child, so gentle is God to us. As high as heaven is above earth, so vast is God's love for us. As far as east is from west, so far God removes our sin, renewing our lives in Christ. Go in peace or remain in prayer.